Hello and welcome to CallJoy. You just joined thousands of other small businesses who are using CallJoy to manage and respond to customer calls. I'm Mina and I'll be walking you through setting up your CallJoy agent with call actions. Clicking the phone icon on the left hand side of your screen will take you to the call actions section of your account. At the top of your screen is your CallJoy number that's selected during onboarding along with three tabs titled Answering, Greeting, and Actions. Let's start on the Answering tab. Here, I will choose the voice that I want to use for my agent. By clicking the preview button, I can hear what each agent sounds like. I like Madison, so let's select her. Next, I'm going to choose when Madison answers my incoming calls. You can see here that I have six different options. The option I select here controls when my agent steps in to answer customer calls. The options for open hours and closed hours will only appear if your CallJoy agent is linked to Google My Business. I always want the agent to answer for me, so I'll leave it as is and move on to the greetings page. Here in the greeting section, I can write out exactly what I want the agent to say when customers call, and I can go back and change this at any time. Let's say I'm a garden store that's running a sale this week. I'll add that to my custom greeting so all my customers will hear about it when they call. So I'll write, thanks for calling Dead Plants Nursery. Did you know we have 20% off all our plants this week? Our sale ends on November 20th. Again, if I linked my CallJoy account with Google My Business when I signed up, I'm given the option to have the agent state my open hours for the day. I'll select yes, since I get a lot of calls every day asking for our hours of operation. Now Madison will take care of all those questions. Next, let's move to the action screen. This is where you can customize how your agent responds to calls. You'll notice that there are three columns, request, answer, and action. Request is where you input phrases you expect your customers to say when they call. Answer is how you control what the agent does when those phrases are said. And action is where you define what happens next. You'll notice there are six intents loaded by default. You can turn all of them on or off except for the operator intent because this is what your agent will default to when it's unable to handle a customer request. Let's quickly create a custom intent of our own and see how it works. Let's say I get a lot of customers calling to see if I sell indoor plants. I can put in a few phrases related to that request like, do you sell indoor plants? Can I buy indoor plants? What kind of indoor plants do you sell? Do you have indoor plants? Then I can define how Madison answers this request. I'll have her respond, yes, we offer indoor plants of all shapes and sizes. Instead of Madison just responding to this question, I can also have her send callers to a specific section of my website where I list the indoor plants I sell. Madison will ask, can I message you a link with the specific indoor plants we offer? Okay, so now I'm going to tell Madison exactly what to do next. I'll select prompt, which means Madison will ask the caller if there are other items she can help with. But I could also select route to number and enter a phone number where I want the call to go to or I could simply have Madison end the call. And that's it. I can set up an unlimited number of call actions based on what types of questions my business typically receives. Let's hear what that would sound like in a real call. Call is being recorded for quality purposes. Thank you for calling Dead Plant Nursery. Did you know we have 20% off all our plants this week? Our sale ends on November 20th. In a few words, how can I help you? Do you sell indoor plants? Yes, we offer indoor plants of all shapes and sizes. Can I message you a link with the specific indoor plants we offer? Yes. Text has been sent. 
Since CallJoy records all inbound calls, it makes sense to periodically review what customers are calling about and see if your agent is accurately answering questions. If you're seeing instances where things could be better, try going back and further customizing your requests by adding intents so that your agent recognizes more spoken phrases from your callers. I can also check the insights page to see what percentage of my calls my agent is able to handle and what types of intents are triggered most often. We hope you enjoy using CallJoy for your business. Please reach out to us with any questions anytime at support at calljoy.com.